Welcome to Moons of Madness. It's been a minute since we did a horror game, so let's get in, shall we? This is a Lovecraft-inspired game, I believe. It's based on one of the books that I read years ago. Pod? No. based off the demigods, fear and terror in Greek. Hello. Hello. Anyone there? to modify the uh, sound there a bit. And we could check. Ina? Emma? That's either an I or an E. Can't really tell. Don't really know when it comes to calligraphy. He did it in school, so I never actually I learned it. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? That's an eyeball. That is 100% an eyeball. I don't want to go that way. Nope. Not particularly fast on that area. meeting up late at night, I can hear you through the vents. Oh, jeez. Great. I have some sort of wetness. Signs of wet. Hello. 
Totally. Jalapenos. What are you? Is that? Which one, that or that? Wanna poke it? Does it seem hostile? Okay. Well, you chill out here, weird goo friend. Okay. That made me jump. What are you doing? Are you friendly? Yeah. Sugar. When I jumped, I whacked my bad thumb. But the knife is back in there. Tell me that's not my ball. I dare you tell me that that's not my ball. Right. Well, no. Copper plated? sit here with my tentacle eyeball friend. It wouldn't hurt me. the bang. Oh no. Do I follow the weird tentacle beast? Or go down the other pitch black hallway? Get to the last chapter. Let me worship you and you don't kill me. Deal? Sounds like a pretty good deal. I'll be your eternal servant if you don't kill me. Nope. Come on. Yog. 
Blow out the candle. I really don't want to. Will you protect me if I do? Okay. I'm doing what you told me. I'm gonna blow out the candle, okay? We good? Oh my god. What was that? Oh, rise and shine, folks. Is everybody okay? I almost spilled my coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check the readings, but that may have been our biggest quake yet. Oh, Standard weird. procedure. Newhart, you know what to do. If there's any critical damage to the base, let me know. Yeah, okay, uh, no problem. Dr. Van Buren, you will assist me at the landing site for the Cyrano. Declan, you're on comms. Find any system issues, relay them to Shane. Aye, aye, Captain. Switch to a private frequency, Declan. No Happy chatter birthday. on open channels. Over and out. Private channel time. Dear Dad, I've already rewritten this letter six times. I'll probably rewrite it several more. I have a lot of time before I can actually send it to you. I'll put it plain, I'm not in Antarctica. My expedition does not exist, or if it does, I'm not on it. I went a little farther. I went to Mars. I hope you can forgive me. This, the deception is not slight. The company takes our secrecy very seriously. In fact, you will already probably have seen me again in person before I'm allowed to send this to you. I want you to hear it from me. I want you to know I love you. What I really want to tell you. Good luck out there. should memorize this. 0509 or 9050. Okay. I'm a level one Orochi group. Shane Newhart. Okay. I know my name now. And I know there's a lady with goo coming out of her eyes who wants to eat me. Yay. Hmm. What the heck? You look at that. Hmm. Shouldn't we push that a bit further back? All personnel, please be aware of the new security update that's taking place tomorrow. You might be stuck in your room for a while. Write down the code somewhere so you'll remember it. Management. Good morning there, sport. Wilcox was kind enough to let you sleep in a little today. But that also means Dr. Van Buren is tagging along on an EVA to the Serrano landing site. So I'll put a pin on lock in the issue with command until he's back. I know Lucas has been thinking, tinkering with some of the back bio gauge code. So check with him first. Plus, you'll have the chance to catch up with the doctor, make some small talk. Hey Declan, can't find anything listed for troubleshooting the solar rays coating. I've run diagnostics each time and nothing out of the ordinary. It's starting to become a daily thing. Time to file the issue with command. I think even if they can shoot me a workaround, it's better than constantly triggering an auxiliary par. Shame.
Dr. Newhart. There has been an update for your comprehensive NDA. Please log in at your earliest convenience. This is only a courtesy. All changes have already gone into effect. Best regards, C.D. Ward, head of HR Manticore. The rule of two is an exciting concept. When we discover one example of phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the vastness of the universe, if two examples are found, it implies there are many more millions. Billions, trillions, as of now, we're only concerned of life on Earth, an anomaly. But all we have to do is find a second. Any life will do, even primitive alien microbes. Even fossils of a microbial life billions of years dead. That one finding will open up a universe teeming with life. All we have to do is get to two. Okay. okay. Confirming my ID bypassed security for my room. Doors unlocked now. Yeah, I'm very jumpy, apparently. Thanks for that. Up you go, bud. Nap time's over. <clears throat> okay. Well, the rest of the team's out dusting the landing pad, and Dr. Bokolva's apparently deep into her biocultivation duties. So, I guess that means you have the base all to yourself. And where are you? Once more, I venture into the great unknown on duty at the satellite dish, and currently communicating, which is technically my job. Kind of. Parkour chewed. Ina is one of your new as one of your specimens, nice. Nice, nice. We have creatures. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck happened with my hand? Greetings, crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team and an employee of Manticore Orochi, there are security protocols that you must not fail to obey. Any Orochi facility, including this Mars base, is sectioned by security clearance. Not every employee may go into every section. Your ID card contains a number denoting your level of security clearance. Your ID card is necessary to access all doors, sectors, and computers of a, of a given level of security clearance. Do not attempt to access areas or equipment beyond your security clearance. Do not attempt to coerce teammates to give you access to their security clearance. Do not give uh, teammates of lower security clearance access to out-of-bounds areas and equipment. Do immediate report any irregularities or breaks in the security protocol to Invictus Security at Orochi.group. Given the nature of the work at Manticore and Orochi, these protocols are in place to protect you from catastrophic mishaps and consequences. If you're unsure of your clearance or the protocols, contact your superior. Thank you for your vigilance. I will try to read every uh, note of mine. What the hell? Hey, hey, what's up with the lights? Uh, yeah, getting some odd spikes in power as the batteries kick in. Hey, you, you just hang tight while I do your job for you, okay? No, have a coffee. No, really, take, take a load off. Thanks, bud. I'll read the notes, but the uh, sticky notes, I'm just gonna leave. You guys can read them to yourselves. Because there's going to be a lot, probably. And the more I talk, the worse my voice gets. As you probably know by now. Whoa. 
Cheerios? Dog food. Black juice. Something. Kai on dark roast coffee. If you don't get any coffee, blame the witch. Who put up this sticky note about the witch? <sighs> you like my drawing? I made it last night. Hmm. Do I like poking fun at a shared paranoid delusion while everyone is tired and isolated from human contact on Mars? Okay, killer. Remind me not to talk to you before you've had your coffee. Oh, I get it. I know what kind of uh, creature this is. This is one of those stories where it only gets you if you know about it, right? So the more we talk about the witch, the more real the witch is, I think. Well, what should I eat today? Bacon and eggs. Not an easy choice. Savory oatmeal. Savory oatmeal looks good. Uh, can you check your bio gauge and see if your daily objectives have been updated? Copy that. Crap! What's up? I, uh, I seem to have misplaced my bio gauge. Josie saw it in the lab on her way out. Told me to tell you. Better get it before you do anything else. Speaking of which, that should do it. I fixed the lounge door to the lab. Thanks, bud. On pain of death, do your dishes. Yeah, just ignore my, uh, cup up there, buddy. Can I just keep drinking? I'll just drink until all the ghosts go away. Or I crap myself. One of the two. Imagine if that was an actual thing. You drank too many cof uh, coffees and you just crap yourself <laughs> during the mission. It's a pretty funky logo as well. I'm coffee out. Let's go, buddy. It has a rochi. Wait, what? It has a rochi letterhead, so it's official. Replacement photo ID, pictures of approval. Commander Wilcox. Management. You can clean up. You clean up pretty nice, Delora. Delapour. Approved. So which of these pictures is Dillapour or Wilcox? Guess we'll find out. Space Seekers. For when your trainers need to be stealthy. I just noticed that. Are they called trainers when you exercise and sneakers when you're sneaky? Or why are they called what they're called? Oh. It's 
Mann aus Mondes. dream I had. It's not important. It's, it's just weird. Uh, you're forgetting the last three times something malfunctioned in this over-engineered campsite. Oh, you guys really need to work on your Handling of bags. You're working with manure, bud. You do not want that stuff everywhere. Which it is. Oh wait, maybe this is dirt from my side. It could be. Never actually seen what Mars dirt looks like. What is the sound? that bio cage yep this room is different bio cage hello He's telling me I do not want to be in this room. I don't know why. Oh, green screen. Antarctic Icos D17 Day. Antarctic Icos Engineering Area Zero Window of Luke and Icy Hillside Clear Sky. The team is standing. Greetings from South Pole. This is Commander Josie Wilcox. Okay, so Del 4 was the man. Got it. Of the Antarctic uh, OC17. We're here testing solutions for plant growth in the harshest conditions on Earth. EXT has Exterior. An icy breach area. Beach area. Overlooking several ice flows with penguins splash amongst the waves. Devil pores near the water. Taking in the beautiful sea. As you can see, it's penguin mating season, so we're getting all kinds of visitors in here. Penguin enters the ice floor. Alright. This little guy is chin strap penguin. While the chin strap penguin is still thriving, its natural habitat is threatened every year. Amarochi facility covered in fresh layer of snow. Operatives in the background sending up clouds of steam. We are stands. Gesturing behind him with the music. Engineering. But as you can see, the Rochi's pet Antarctic superconductor recoils, burrows deep into the holes, causing steady ice flows even during these hot summers. Mindfall. 
Alles nicht mehr. Ja. Ah, that's what they're called. Collider. Hydron? Hydron Collider? It's like a little ball that spins super, super fast and makes uh, its own like, gravity. Build a... Or not. I guess these are... Continue? Orbs? trap hmm. that's actually pretty well built but sturdy. Oh, that's the uh, zoom in button. I thought it was L2. Oh, L2's run. Good. I think there's a reset button somewhere. It's just my luck. I need to find something that can fit in there. Declan, I found the bio gauge, but it won't turn on. I need to reset it. Uh, find something small and thin. A pen should work. There we go. Yeah. There. Got it working. Great. You should be able to reboot the security system now. Just scan the servers with the bio gauge.
Quake okay. probably knocked the panels out of alignment. This has been an ongoing issue. I'll have to adjust the solar panels manually. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's rock. What am I supposed to be getting out of this? It's a rock. A big rock. Greetings, crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team and an employee of Manticore. Nope, already read that. Yay, another big rock. You want me to drag for that one too? Is this someone's diary? How are we going through someone's diary? Supplemental log regarding our ongoing survey of samples. In the search for evidence of microbial life on the planet Mars, the rule of two is an exciting concept. You know? No signs of micro fossils. Samples from areas A01 to A15. Samples from A16 to A27 analyzed. Organic molecules discovered in ancient rock. The precursor and building blocks to life, though not yet proof of microbes. Okay. Samples from A28 to A39, no signs of microbe fossils. Samples from A40 to A56, no signs of microbe fossils. Samples from A57 to A68, no signs of fossils. However, Declan says he found a promising site some 36 kilometers east of this. We'll send him directly there for the next set of samples. Okay. This is not as bad as reading someone's diary. Oh, I thought that was a skull. You're the same thing. You. Lucas. Mission Control wants you to crunch some numbers on a potential future visit to the two moons. Think over the logistics and one of, bo one of both an Earth launched and a Mars launch mission. Work some rough calculations for both scenarios, make this a priority. Also have a look at the moon orbits. Phobos should be 1.5 Martian diameters, out with a 7.66 R orbit. And Deimos at 3.5 diameters and 30.5 Rs. But mission control says they showed up as significantly closer and faster. Might be a glitch, I'll leave you to it. Josie. Mm -mm. I would be very careful. Is that where the symbol came from? Oh, no. We fill that. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to leave this one here. Hope you had fun so far. And the next one, we'll be leaving the uh, space base.